Hey everybody, it's Laura, and uh, I'm trying to get myself in here. There we go. And uh, welcome back to the channel. And um, I'm glad today is Thursday, getting closer to Friday. <laughs> anyway, I kind of wanted to talk about um, or give give some advice maybe to people that are newly diagnosed with MS. Um, I've been diagnosed since 2005. Uh, but I had symptoms all the way back to possibly 2000, 1999. So um, getting a diagnosis was kind of a good thing. It was sort of a relief that it was what it was and it wasn't other things that we thought could be possible. Um, but my experience with my first neurologist, he was very blunt, very uh, rough, you know, yeah, don't do this, don't do that, this isn't going to help you. Here, take some Avonex and go on your way. Ew. <laughs> um, it kind of hit me badly. Um, I was, I, I, I remember crying, I remember thinking, when's my husband going to leave? Um, and stuff like that, and then going through the literature on the way home and thinking, and reading out loud, saying, oh, I can't wait for the day I can't walk, I can't wait for the day I can't hear you, I can't wait for the day I can't talk. I mean, it was, it was uh, pretty, it, it was shocking and it was, you know, sad at the same time and, and telling family members and people crying and getting upset and, or people trying to help you when you really don't ask for help and they bulldog you into doing this and doing that. Um, at the time, I decided to kind of keep my the diagnosis, you know, to myself, it was that as you needed, um, you know, as a need to know basis. But I did reach out to um, the National Multiple Sclerosis Society, um, and I'm going to put a link down for their website, um, and so you can find a local chapter. They provide a lot of things for people with. Um, especially the newly diagnosed, well they did for me, I don't know if they still do it, but hopefully they do. Um, they'll provide you with literature like books. Um, Rosalind DeKalb, she writes an excellent book about um, MS. Um, they also have like a helpful tips book that they also give. And also, you know, maybe possibly some other little things that you could uh, um, get from them. Even maybe some peer support or something like that if you needed or finding a meeting to go to. They also provide like yoga, stuff like that. Um, so just kind of want to give that. I know it's a, an overwhelming process and it can be an upsetting, but um, it's something that you can manage the, and you can do the best that you can and try to be the best that you can with it. Anyway, that's uh, all I wanted to really say today. Um, anyway, uh, if you like the video, you know, like it. <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed yet, I really would appreciate it if you did. Anyway, um, have a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.